Well, welcome back. Joining us in the studio this week, we're delighted to have Miss Mariah Fortman. She's a community health educator with the Department of Health. Mariah, welcome to Week in Review. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me today. Well, I think it's really timely that we have you because it's the beginning of a new year. Everyone's setting resolutions. And one of the biggest ones you hear every year is, I'm going to quit smoking. Yes. So I think that that's um, a really good segue for what we're going to talk about today. Let's discuss how prevalent smoking is in, an, in an Anne Arundel County. Um, so in Anne Arundel County, uh, according to 2014 state survey, about one in six adults smoke. Um, one and, in six? Yes, one in six adults smoke in Anne Arundel County. Um, and to a comparison, so we have youth data that also tells us about 10.7% um, of youth are considered current smokers. Um, and that's about what age? Like High school, high school age. Okay. So that's a high school age um, demographic. And is that 50,000 people? Did I do the math right there? Don't ask me. That's like 50,000 people. It's, it seems high, but um, in comparison to the year 2000, our data in 2000 showed us that about 20% of high school students were considered current smokers. So the That's rate of smoking down. has really decreased among youth. Yeah, um, I would feel like there's been a lot of really good advertising with the tobacco-free mm -hmm. organization. They do a lot of good commercials about how uncool it is to smoke now, and I think yes. that really helps. So Yes, so we work really hard to do um, a lot of prevention and education work with youth, and then for adults working to provide cessation or quit smoking resources um, and tools to help them quit smoking. Well, tell us about your program and how it works. So the Learn to Live program is under Anne Arundel County Department of Health, and again, we work with adults as well as youth to provide cessation or quit smoking resources. Um, we do it through multiple different ways. For one, we provide free quit smoking classes in Anne Arundel County at five healthcare provider locations. Um, so the locations are Anne Arundel Community College, Anne Arundel Medical Center, Owensville Primary Care, Chase Brexton Healthcare, um, and University of Maryland, Baltimore, Washington Medical Center. Okay, so from south to north, you are you got yes. it covered. Yes. That's awesome. Um, is it free? It's totally free. Totally free. It's totally totally free. free. And it is free counseling, and then depending on location, um, free FDA-approved nicotine replacement therapy. Nice. Yes. Okay, okay, so say so. What do you say to somebody who thinks that they can just quit cold turkey? Do you recommend that, or are there different? No. Um, so yeah. we don't recommend one way or the other. Okay. Uh, there's multiple ways to quit smoking. So if someone chooses to go to, um, quit smoking cold turkey, then that's great for them. And if that's their preferred method, then we encourage it. Um, but we also tell people to consider a lot of different options. So um, there's no evidence that one way is better than the other. Um, and so we, on our website, myquitkit.org, we provide tools to quit smoking. Um, so you can choose to go cold turkey. You can gradually decrease the number of cigarettes that you're smoking. Um, and also we have a bunch of resources. So we have a text message system that helps you quit smoking. There's also applications that you can um, put on your smartphone to help you quit smoking. That's amazing. Yeah. So a lot of different ways text that messaging. you can go about. Yep, yeah. There's an app for that. Yeah. So it kind of holds you accountable. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, everyone works in different ways. And so cold turkey is probably a good option for folks that have either a health issue pop up or a new baby in the family. I right. feel like kids are probably the number one reason why I've seen friends stop smoking. Right, right. I can't do it around kids. Right, there's something that makes you just decide right then and there that yeah. you're gonna stop. So there's, mm -hmm. there's a motivation to go cold turkey. Yes. What about the, do you, just in your, in your studies of this issue, is a lot of people are doing this vaping now, is there a difference? Is it, is it, is it safe? Because I don't believe that it's safe. Um, so vaping or e-cigarettes uh, are not an approved quit aid. So Department of Health doesn't encourage okay. that as a device to be used. Um, okay. And it's recently, in about August 2016, um, became regulated under the FDA. So now they're starting to figure out kind of what the ingredients are in these devices. Um, but it's certainly not approved, so we don't um, encourage it. But the long-term health risks with using it are also not really known because it hasn't been around long enough to be studied over a longer period of time. Hmm, makes sense. Give us, give us one little trick of the program that you use to kind of keep people on the wagon. Because I've heard, I've heard all kinds of things about these programs. Like, um, I think some of them, it's like a, like a, almost like an AA or a help, help group where you have like a, almost a sponsor or somebody mm -hmm. in your group that like calls you to check, check on you and make sure you're doing what you're supposed to. Or, I mean, do you have any like 
little tricks that to keep people? Um, I think it, so it really depends on the program that you're in within um, Anne Arundel County. Since so we have five locations, um, I think it varies depending on where you're going. I know Anne Arundel Medical Center, for example, their class or their program offers um, more of a class-oriented type cessation class, um, but they also offer one-on-one -on -one counseling. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. So I definitely think one-on-one -on -one counseling or um, being able to have kind of a support system within the class, so someone else who's also trying to quit smoking, kind of that buddy system helps. Um, and then just trying to remind yourself why you're quitting in the first place, I think is, is helpful to kind of stay, stay smoke free. Keep you focused. Yeah. Put like an alarm on your phone or something. I like, right. well, you were mentioning the apps mm -hmm. and the text messaging. I feel like there's probably some, if there's not already, there's some avenue to do like a support group so that yeah. people are checking, you're checking in with each other. Right, right. So I, that's, what. tell me about some of the apps. Um, so the apps are really like you can kind of go through and choose your quit date and the figure out kind of your reasons for smoking kind of helps you outline it. Um, and there's tons to, to choose from and they're, most of them are free. Um, so you can really just kind of go through them and choose the ones that you like best. Um, but the text message system is really cool too because um, you can even text words to the system and then they'll respond with tips or tricks based off what you're experiencing. So for example, um, cravings, like if you feel like you're Craving a cigarette, you can text the word crave, and then they'll respond with something kind of more related oh to that, God. a little bit more targeted. Get a burger. Which is really cool, yeah. Go or, you know, go for a run. <laughs> right. um, I like this because I feel like you guys have thought of a lot of different ways. People want to join a plan, they want to keep themselves held accountable, and they all respond to something different, whether it's a text message, mm -hmm. an app. You guys, a website, phone, a phone number. Right. You guys have gone in and figured out all different ways that people can tackle this. So whatever their preferred method is, there is something for that person. Exactly. So if I want to quit smoking, which I do not, hmm. so. You want to keep smoking? No, no, I, I don't smoke. Dave, oh, I was I'm trying saying. to get the, okay, there's syntax there. Sorry, Mariah. Okay. Um, but I have friends that do, and I want them to quit smoking. Um, how do I sign them up, or what's, what's the first step? Um, so there's two ways you can do it. You can go online to myquitkit.org. Okay. Um, and here is where you're going to find all the stuff that we just spoke about. So you can find the list of smoking cessation classes and the contact information to sign up for a class. You can download um, the Learn to Live Office's free quit smoking kit. You can also order the free quit smoking kit so then it's mailed directly to your house. Um, you can find this text message system there as well as a quit coach and the apps, a link to the apps. Um, or you can call our Learn to Live office at 410-222-7979 and then we can connect you with all of that directly. It's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a new year. Get fit, get healthy, stop smoking if you are. We have tons of resources, thanks to Mariah and Department of Health, for you to be able to quit smoking. There's uh, the phone number, the website, all the text messages, or you can do the apps. So, yeah, make it your goal this year, if you smoke, to stop smoking. Yes. And thank you for all the hard work you're doing to keep our county healthy, Mariah. Thank you so much. You. I really appreciate and it. Make sure you come back out. You can come visit us anytime with any updates on the program. Oh, awesome. Definitely. Well, we'll be right back with more Week in Review right after this. Don't go anywhere.